So guys, I am heading to the art store this morning. I'm going to Blick. You guys know it's my favorite art store. I've been meaning to get back into painting for so long and I woke up this morning and was like, today is the day. Today's the day I'm gonna get back into it. So I'm gonna get some canvases, some acrylic paints, some brushes. I have this idea of doing a paint and sip, like a wine night tonight with like painting involved. So hopefully, I don't do too much damage. I tend to spend so much money at Blick. Like, all of my money has gone there. So we'll see what happens. Anyway. <laughs> so I put in some work at Blick. I don't know what happened, what came over me, but I got a lot of good stuff uh, there today. I thought I would just like quickly show you guys a few things that I got. So I got a bunch of these like little baby canvases um, they're the thinner canvases, so they're called, I guess, canvas panels. And these are for our paint and sip tonight, so the girls and I are gonna use these tonight. But I did get one nicer one, like this. It's like a full canvas to have a little fun with myself. I really wanted to get back into acrylic paint, um, acrylic painting, so I got a lot of acrylics. Got big primary colors and white. I definitely have black paint here somewhere. Oh, actually, there's one in here. So I got this heavy body acrylic little set, an eggplant, like a deep teal color, gray, um, kind of like a, a Merlot, emerald green, and a white, so that's in here. It's like a heavier body acrylic, and then I got a bunch of paint brushes, flat brushes. I love a flat brush, so I got a set of those, and then I got just kind of like a miscellaneous one for tonight. I liked the look and the bristles of this one. I'm like sweating right now. Got a couple of pencils and an eraser. So I can map out my designs. Got a drop cloth that I can put down while I'm painting. And I got some more specific shades of acrylic paint. So I got light pink, yellow, ochre, 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 cadmium, yellow deep, this deep red shade, and a green gold, which I was intrigued by. So we got all these little colors. Safe to say I got enough paint to last me a very long time at Blick. And I'm really excited to just let my mind wander and paint. It's funny how my hauls have transitioned over time. Like I started with like fashion hauls like back in the day and now I'm hauling art supplies. Like who would have thought? <laughs> so yeah guys, um, until we meet again in the next clip. Painting is just another way of keeping a diary. That's a Pablo Picasso quote that I love so much. And you guys know how I feel about journaling, about documenting your thoughts, about you know creating art from lived experiences. And so today I am doing just that on a canvas with acrylic paint. I really just let my mind take over and the colors I saw in there, the colors that I thought you know would make sense, I threw on the canvas and it ended up being, you'll see, kind of like a, a sunset sort of situation, just very um, warm, happy colors. It was just so therapeutic to throw some colors on a blank page and just see what happens, <laughs> see what unfolded uh, from there. So I hope you guys will sit back and enjoy this painting content. There's a little plot twist coming. Stay tuned for that.
reached the plot twist I was referring to earlier, I decided to start from scratch and paint over everything I'd just done with a light off-white color. And I did so while it was still wet, so it did drag some of the previous colors along with it and left them behind. So I have a little hint of orange and yellow in there, but for the most part, it's a blank canvas once again. And honestly, this felt a little bit symbolic or kind of metaphoric as I was doing it because, of course, you think you're going down one path and then you know you decide ooh I don't know about this like maybe I want to start fresh start over and even though you do your past experiences the things that happened before are kind of dragged along with you in a little teeny tiny little way but it affects the beauty of what is coming next So guys, a brief intermission to the painting content. I forgot to share my newest addition to my room, which you can see behind me. So the newest addition to my room is this little love seat. It's a really cool material. It's that really nice like boucle uh, material. So it's like rough, but so comfortable. And it's just the coolest shape. It's from Cardiel. Let me know what you guys think I should put around it slash next to it. I feel like I already have a lot going on over here. So maybe I'll move some of that stuff above the couch. I'm not really sure yet. If you guys have suggestions, let me know what you think. Piper is a huge fan of the couch. She loves smelling it. I'm not really sure what she smells on it, but she likes the couch. So yeah, the room is slowly coming together. I just need to put some stuff like around it. I don't really want too much going on over here though, so I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. But yeah, the couch is here, and my room is slowly coming together. We got some art up. Oh my God. Calls for vanilla extract, not my clothes and sugar, but I think we can skip that. What do we got? Pumpkin brioche from Trader Joe's. Classic French style brioche with a hint of warm spices. Lovely. Let's see, let's get a whiff. Oh, you almost just dropped that in my face. It's fine. It smells really good. Yeah. Change, it smells really fresh. Mmm. <laughs> that fluff. What's in there? Just egg? Egg and almond, almond milk. milk. Almond milk and egg? Yeah. That looks fucking amazing. Pretty. 